I believe that the iPad is the best device to DJ with and DJ Pro is the best DJ software for the iPad. So in this video, you're gonna learn everything you need to know to get started with DJ Pro for the iPad. And the first thing you're gonna need to know is how to navigate through the app. The app was able to fit so many amazing features by separating into different view modes. So to get to your view modes, we're gonna press the middle button up here. And then the first one is going to be starter. This is kind of if you never DJed before and you don't really want to use all the features, but you just want to play two songs and kind of mix them together, then you could use this one. I'm not going to talk about this one too much because I want to show you guys how to actually DJ. Next is auto mix. Again, this app has a great auto mix feature, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later in the, in this course. And then these are the two that we're going to use mostly. Classic. This one is best for scratching turntablism if you want to get the feel of old school records at a mixer if you're used to DJing that way or you just think it's cool and if it you get the biggest job wheels so it's the best for scratching and then the next one which is the one we're going to be on for most of the for most of this short course is pro mode here is you're going to have the biggest view of your library and the access to most the most features this app also has a looper mode where you can make your own loops and samples. And then it has one deck, four, four deck. One deck is for organizing your tracks, which is very important. And then video mode, you could DJ with music videos and visualizers. I'm going to get to that in the more advanced course. So when I show you guys how to do something, I'm going to show you both in classic and in pro mode really quick so you know how to do it in both view modes. So the first thing that you're going to need to know if you want to start DJing is how to load up songs, where do you get your music from, and what to do with the music. So in this app, how you add songs is going to be up here in the top right. If, you, if there's nothing loaded up, it's going to be blinking like it is over here. If there is a song loaded up, it's not going to be blinking. That's how you know if you have an empty deck. And in classic mode, they're just a little bit bigger. So now if we want to load up a song, what we're going to do is we're going to press this blinking music button up here. And now we're going to get some options. This is another really important part of the software. This is where you're going to get your music from. There are... Uh, a lot of different sources. I think the most options for streaming services out of any DJ software. So the first one is going to be our playlist, which I'm going to talk about really quick, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. This is where you're going to make your own playlist. I believe playlists are one of the most important things as a DJ, so you can be organized and know what song you're going to play. And then over here is Apple Music streaming software. Yes, you can use Apple Music to DJ. You can't use Spotify, but you could use Apple Music and some other streaming services. So if you already have a subscription or if you want to have millions of songs and you want to pay for the subscription, I would recommend getting at least one of these streaming services. Next is DJ Music. If you don't want to spend any money, if you don't have music on your device, but you still want to follow along to this tutorial, then DJ Pro gives us a good selection of different genres to choose from and songs that are already here. So if you have no internet access and no music, you could start DJing right away, which is really cool. The next one, I'm just going to skip over title for a second. We have SoundCloud, Beatport, Beat Source. These are streaming services. They're good. They have millions of songs. But the one that I would recommend is Tidal. And the reason why I would recommend Tidal is because it's the closest I found to Spotify. Spotify had the best user-created playlist, and Spotify was the best streaming service for DJing, but no software lets you use Spotify. So Tidal is the closest. You could go here at, when we click on Tidal, we could see staff picks, new, they separate it into genres, they have playlists. You could search the search bar here for any song that is on title streaming service on the internet so if we type in for example 50 cent we could find the 50 cent song just like that any song and then it's also separated into down here we have artist so 50 cent as an artist albums playlist and even videos that's why title streaming service is in my opinion one of the best streaming services is because you could DJ with music videos and really step up your DJing. So choose a streaming service, and that's how you're going to load up songs. If you want to load up a song on the right, press it on the right, find the song to load up. You could either click it, 
or you can drag it on over and it'll be there if you want to get it from a different source. Also, if you have music on your device, you could go down here to files or you could go to your music on iTunes. So here in my files, this is a song in my files. So we know how to load up songs now. Next is going to be our EQs, how you're going to mix these songs together. There's a couple ways to do it. We have this middle section here. You're going to have the same middle section in classic mode. If you press that. And now to access our EQs, we can press the EQ button here. So now we have volume, fader, lows, mids, and highs. Same thing if we go to pro mode lows, mids, and highs, but this is not the only place you could access your EQs. There is there is a bunch of features loaded down here. So over here, it's going to start with Neuromix. What this does is you can instantly take out the vocals, take out the instrumentals, make mashups. It's a stem separating software, and it's really cool. Uh, a lot of DJ softwares offer this feature, but I think DJ Pro is one of the best. So listen to this song. So you guys could do mashups, you could mix songs like that instead of using the EQs. Nero Mix is a really cool feature, but there is another way to access it, and that's down here. Now you could instantly slide it to vocals only, instantly slide it to instrumentals only. So now you could have Nero Mix here, and then if we go to the next feature, which is going to be our cue points, we could set cue points. This is one of the most important things as a DJ is to organize your tracks, and these cue points help you do so. So I recommend every song that you're going to play, mark a cue point where you want to start and where you want to end your mix. At least you can mark other stuff, but at least start with this. So you find where you want your cue point, and then you press one of these open boxes, and then you'll get a random color, and you'll get the time. If you want to change the color and the name of the cue point, you press the pencil here, drop down menu, we could change the name, and then we could change the colors down here. So come up with a color-coded scheme that works for you. If you have color, if you have a controller that has RGB lights in the in the pad section, and then this will show up there as well. So now we can access our cue points, our mixer, and our neuro mix down here. So find what features you use and then have them open so you could use them all at the same time so DJing becomes flawless. Over here we have our loops. We have auto loop, one, two, three, four, very simple on and off. You could also always access this with this button up here. So again, there's a there's more than one way to use all of these features. So you could customize the layout and then have it the way you want it. Next is our effects. We have manual effects. We can have up to four effects. So this one is flanger. On. You could adjust it like this. And then you could adjust the amount of the effects with the dry and wet. And you could have at least, and you can have up to three effects at the same time, so you could get really creative with these effects. I recommend pressing the drop down menu, seeing what all of these effects do, what they sound like, and seeing which ones you want, and then having the three that you use most often ready to go here. You also get instant effects. This is with one press, you could start an effect. And then over here is another way to control our mixer. We have our lows, mids, highs, and then a high pass and a low pass filter. A lot of electronic hip hop music, a lot of electronic and dance music uses a lot of filters in the production. So having this at, your, at our fingertips is really cool. Next thing I want to show you guys is the waveforms. These are very advanced waveforms. They're, they are full color. So when you listen to a lot of songs and DJ with this app for a while, you'll know what color and what shape sounds like what. So you will have visual cues as well as audio cues for, to help you while you're DJing. These are these are our jog wheels. You could use them for scratching. You could also see information here such as the BPM and how much time in the song or how much of the BPM you adjusted. Over here is where we're going to control our BPM. If you want to mix two songs together at the same time, you're going to want them to be the exact same BPM or exactly double or half. 
So you could adjust it here to do that manually, or you could press this sync button once and it will automatically match. It'll automatically match the exact BPM because it could be hard to use this slider. And then sync is gonna is gonna match the beats together, but you don't have to use it. You could just press sync once to get the BPM and then turn it off. Down here are temporary cue points. So you could do set. And then until you press set somewhere else, it'll jump back to there. You got play and pause over here. Down here is our crossfader. You can mix from right to left. Middle is full volume for both songs. All the way to the right is one song. All the way to the left is though is the song to the left. And then there's a new feature, which is crossfader effects. You could turn it on and do transitions by just moving the crossfader. It's a really cool feature, really advanced feature. Next, we have our looper and our sampler. So here, you could pick which samples you want. You could pick which looper pack you want. There's a bunch of different genres. And then you could simply, easily make your own beats by pressing these boxes. They stay in sync with with the BPM that you have selected and mess around with these, see which ones sound good and it's really helpful to use. Next is our sampler. This app has a whole bunch of sample packs that you can download. You could also make your own custom samples, which are really cool. And if you want to learn how to make your own custom samples in this amazing app, check out this video over here. Thank you.